Hello everyone and welcome to Know Your Drug, powered by Medi Insights. The ultimate destination for all things of health and wellness from the fascinating world of medicals and pharmaceuticals. We are here to guide you on paclitaxel injection, exploring the various aspects of paclitaxel, their usage, dosage, mechanism of action, side effects, and most importantly, essential advice for taking them safely and responsibly. Before we begin, let me emphasize that the content provided in this channel is purely educational. Always consult a healthcare professional for personalized advice regarding medications. Now, let's get started. Use of Paclitaxel Injection Paclitaxel injection is a chemotherapy medication used primarily to treat various types of cancer, including ovarian, breast, lung, pancreatic, and Kaposi's sarcoma. It functions by inhibiting cell growth, thus slowing or stopping the spread of cancer cells in the body. Administered intravenously, paclitaxel is often used in combination with other chemotherapy drugs to enhance its effectiveness. Next, dosage of paclitaxel injection. The dosage of paclitaxel injection varies depending on the type and stage of cancer, the patient's body surface area, and their overall health. Let's discuss some common regimens. For ovarian cancer, the dosage is 175 mg per square meter over 3 hours every 3 weeks. For breast cancer the dosage is 175 mg per square meter over 3 hours every 3 weeks or a dose-dense regimen of 80 mg per square meter weekly. For non-small cell lung cancer, the dosage is 200 mg per square meter over 3 hours every 3 weeks in combination with cisplatin. For Kaposi sarcoma the dosage is 135 mg per square meter over 3 hours every 3 weeks or 100 mg per square meter over 3 hours every 2 weeks. Dosage adjustments may be necessary based on the patient's response and side effects experienced. A brief note that paclitaxel is a powerful medication and should only be used under the supervision of a qualified healthcare professional. Next, Mechanism of Action of Paclitaxel Injection Paclitaxel works by stabilizing microtubules, the structures responsible for cell division, which prevents them from breaking down. This disrupts cell division, causing cancer cells to stop multiplying and die. The drug specifically binds to the beta tubulin subunit of microtubules, enhancing their polymerization and rendering them non-functional for cell division. Next, Side Effects of Paclitaxel Injection Common side effects include hair loss, nausea and vomiting, peripheral neuropathy, myelosuppression, allergic reactions, fatigue, and joint and muscle pain. Severe side effects may include severe hypersensitivity reactions, cardiac issues, and serious infections due to lowered white blood cell counts. Next, Important Advice for Using Paclitaxel Injection Patients should inform their healthcare provider of any allergies, pre-existing conditions, or medications they are taking. Paclitaxel can cause severe allergic reactions, therefore, pre-medication with corticosteroids, antihistamines, and H2 antagonists is recommended. Blood counts should be regularly monitored to manage myelosuppression. Patients should avoid live vaccinations and contact with individuals who have received live vaccines due to the increased risk of infection. It is also advisable to use effective contraception during treatment and for some time after the last dose to prevent harm to a developing fetus. By the end of this video, you'll have a solid understanding of the use, dosage, mechanism of action, side effects, and important advice for using paclitaxel injection. Remember, knowledge is power, and being well-informed empowers you to make the best decisions for your health.